water filtration system. You can ensure access to drinking water without relying on a shared water supply by installing a well and using this $400 filter. Its key component, which turns any water into drinkable, is its three-stage filtration system. The device contains a 5-micron polypropylene sediment filter, which removes dirt and other large particles from the water that could clog the other filters. Next, the water goes through the second stage of purification, where a coconut shell carbon filter works its magic. This filter is key to getting clean drinking water, and it gets rid of any bad tastes, odors, and 99% of chlorine. And it's not just that, it's also super effective against pesticides, herbicides, and industrial chemicals. Finally, there's the last stage of filtration. This filter is responsible for reducing the levels of iron, manganese, and various other heavy metals that might be present in well water. Certainly, you can filter more than just water from wells and boreholes, any water would do, but of course, it's important to properly assess the effectiveness of a three-stage filtration system because there are types of water that won't be safe to drink regardless. If you're thinking about replacing a filter with bottled water, think again. The filter does a great job of removing microplastics, but bottled water companies don't. In fact, studies show that 93% of bottled water contains tiny plastic particles. Solar Patio First, you need to level any hard surface, for example, by spreading gravel over it. After that, you can start the transformation to create a surface that generates solar power. Yes, that's pavers, solar pavers. Each one measures 14.1 by 14.1 by 1.6 inches and weighs 14.3 pounds. But what's really cool is that these tiles can generate energy from the sun. Solar energy can be harnessed using either monocrystalline or polycrystalline cells, depending on the version. The first type of tile generates 18.2 watts with an efficiency of 18.6%. The second type is for those needing more power, offering an efficiency of 22.3%. Of course, you can walk on each paver no matter which model you choose. The creators have covered the solar pavers with 0.4 inch thick tempered glass with an acid etched pattern. Also, each paver has has a frame made of a polyethylene-based polymer composite, combining both low and high density types. According to the creators, this combination not only allows the paver to support a person's weight, but also easily handles vehicles weighing up to eight tons. It doesn't really matter where you place the pavers, whether it's in the backyard or on the driveway where cars often drive, they'll stay intact and, most importantly, continue to generate energy. Sun Chef Pro You're already familiar with solar cookers, which let you prepare food without using electricity, but now we have a true giant in the world of off-grid cooking. Take a look at this solar oven from Sun Brother. When fully expanded, it stands at 10 feet tall. The majority of its surface area is covered with reflective elements that focus sunlight onto its main component, a tube with a massive 10-gallon capacity. What does this mean? This means that on sunny days, you can use sunlight to cook food for 10 to 50 people. It only takes 20 minutes because the large reflective surfaces heat up to 464 degrees Fahrenheit in just a few minutes. Looks like we found the perfect solution for cooking large amounts of food at home, but there's a downside. From these shots, you can see that setting up this giant oven will take some effort, plus it'll cost you $8,140. Solar power can bring joy to both those who love off-the-grid cooking and coffee lovers. Sure, you'll have to shell out a good amount for a solar-powered coffee roaster, but what's better than freshly roasted coffee beans? Weevolt X-Tile It's not common for self-sufficient home solutions to look good, but Wienerberger's solar roof tiles definitely challenge that notion. When even a small section of the roof is fitted with Wienerberger solar panels, it starts turning heads. Covering the entire roof with them transforms the house into a sleek, modern structure that catches the eye. And yes, those sleek rooftop features definitely generate power. Depending on the version, they can produce between 130 to 180 watts per 10 square feet. It might not seem like a lot, but the idea is to cover the entire roof with them. That way, they'll generate enough energy to power all your household appliances. Having style alongside good performance is great, but it's even better when it's backed up by durability and resilience. Thanks to the frameless design and glass back, moisture and dirt can't seep beneath the solar panels, ensuring a longer lifespan. 
top part of the small panels is made from tempered double glazing so they can withstand hail, rain, snow, wind, fire, and even impact from fairly heavy objects. Mobile Chicken Coop Creating a proper chicken coop usually takes a lot of effort and a good chunk of time. But not with this birdhouse, it's really easy to set up on your property and accommodate your domestic fowl right away. When it comes to the chicken coop, besides ease of setup, what matters most is user friendliness. Take cleaning for example. There's no need to crawl inside because the droppings tray pulls out. And reaching the nesting boxes is no trouble at all. You don't have to struggle with opening and closing the chicken coop manually every time. Just press the button above the door or use the remote control. Plus, you can adjust the height of the coop without needing any tools. Of course, it's not just the owner who will be comfortable, the chickens will be happy too. The coop designers added a back ventilation system that can be easily opened and closed from outside, plus the coop's made from materials that keep out moisture, wind, and anything else that could make the birds uncomfortable. These are Indonesian chickens of the AM Samani breed. If you're up for making some cash, they're perfect for your backyard coop. Sure, you'll have to shell out between $700 and $1,400 for one bird, but once they start reproducing, those initial costs will seem like pocket change. Grow Tent Simplicity is the word that perfectly describes the assembly process happening on the screen. First, the frame parts come together without the need for any tools. Then comes what could be described as draping a cover over it. Yeah, Vivo's son really nailed it, because with such a meditative assembly process, you might forget that it's not just a tent, but a space for growing plants at home. The tent is made of Oxford fabric with a lining of reinforced polyethylene and fully reflective mylar, along with ventilation and viewing windows. However, these features alone aren't enough for plant cultivation, so various add-ons come into play. Inside their grow tents, Vivo Sun placed LED lights that give plants just the right spectral range they need at every stage of their life cycle. They've also got a powerful yet quiet ventilation system that pumps fresh air in for the plants while filtering out any odors escaping outside. You can even add an extra fan for a stronger breeze. And the cherry on top? A controller that makes growing plants simple, letting you manage the tent from anywhere. Naturally, the cost of a fully equipped tent kit can't be low. Depending on the size, tents packed with everything you need range from $460 to $1,080. However, there's a simpler option. You can buy a tent without equipment, priced between $100 and $400, and start improvising. Yes, with kits like these, it's easy to grow plants at home. But greenhouse gardening is also stepping up its game. Take a look at this inflatable thing stretching out inside the greenhouse. It's a heat accumulator made of polyethylene filled with water. Why an accumulator? Well, when the temperature rises, water absorbs heat, and when it drops, it gives it off. This way you can keep greenhouse plants just as cozy as those at home. Wind box. This box definitely resembles a rooftop ventilation system, but it's actually far more interesting. It's a device for generating energy, and it's hybrid. You can tell by the solar panels on the ones already installed. How much energy can it produce? The device can generate up to 2,500 kilowatt hours of energy per year, depending on conditions. While that might not sound mind-blowing, it's pretty neat because it can keep churning out energy almost non-stop thanks to its hybrid nature. On top of that, the company claims it doesn't make too much racket. You won't hear a peep from the module from six feet away since the wind turbines spin at a leisurely two rotations per second. Sounds great, but there's one downside. The box takes up 43 square feet of space and stands at three feet tall, making it not only hard to install, but also a bit of an eyesore. However, if the lack of aesthetics isn't a concern, then Wind My Roof Solution is the perfect way to make your home more self-sufficient. PS21 the stove from Freedom Stoves can be controlled with a remote or a smartphone. You can adjust the temperature and set the operating modes from a distance so the stove works just the way you want it any given time. 
It's not the peak of technology, but it's pretty convenient, right? But that's not all this stove can do. The first thing to consider is heating capacity. This stove can warm up an area between 800 and 1800 square feet. Does it need a lot of wood pellets for this, burning between one pound per hour on the low setting and five pounds per hour on the high setting? And of course, we can overlook that the stove is incredibly compact. It's just 18 inches wide, 37 inches tall, and 21 inches long, making it easy to fit almost anywhere. The only catch is the $2,200 price tag. Solar Fence You can also extract energy with a fence. But how? Once again, solar panels come to the rescue. Why not? If the panels protect you from the outside world and block the wind, these days they're quite durable and can produce energy too. A significant amount, in fact, if you use high power panels like those from Planeo, their solar fences use double-sided panels rated at 1400 watts. Of course, if you only make a small section of your fence solar, the energy won't be enough. But if you cover your entire property with these panels, you'll generate plenty of power for all your home appliances. Planeo demonstrates in their video that putting up a solar fence is easy. Just fasten the panels to your fence and make the necessary electrical connections. Monoblock BioRock offers solutions that are perfect for people looking to live off the grid. Their systems purify wastewater without using any electricity. Let's start by acknowledging that not everyone will be keen on installing a purification system, mainly because it involves a lot of work. As you may have seen in videos, it means digging up a significant amount of soil, placing numerous components, laying pipes, and carrying out other necessary tasks. The key step is the installation of a container where wastewater goes through several cleaning steps. Initially, it gets rid of fats, oils, greases, and organic solids. After that, there's additional biological filtering using the special BioRock material. Finally, the water flows out of the container into the ground or other parts of the system like extra filtration stations or storage tanks for treated wastewater. Depending on requirements, there are plenty of ways to use the purified liquid, all of which will definitely take the home's autonomy to a new level. Solvus Max on your screens is the Solvus device in the making. It's taking quite a while to put together, and it's not exactly a walk in the park. See, there are tons of parts that need to be connected and hooked up. Yeah, at Solvus, they put the focus on device efficiency rather than assembly simplicity. Let's start by saying that Solvus Max is a device that stores thermal energy. It can connect to pellet boilers, wood stoves, and heat pumps, allowing them to transfer energy to it. Inside the device, there's a patented system with a heat storage tank and either a diesel burner or an electric heater. But what really kicks up its efficiency is the location of the heater. Not at the bottom of the tank like usual, but up top. The reasoning is simple and smart. Why heat the entire volume of water when you can warm just the upper portion and the water only gets heated when its temperature drops to a specific level set by the user? According to the company, using Solvus Max can cut heating expenses by 50 to 60 percent. While it's not totally energy independence, it's a significant step toward it. Weed Spider If you've got a big chunk of land with plenty of plants, this device is going to be right up your alley. Another robot, people might say, and they'd be right, but it's not an ordinary one. It handles several farm tasks at once. Its creators claim it can replace a team of up to 20 weeders. Pretty amazing, huh? This robot's efficiency comes from using artificial intelligence to control its fully mechanical weeding and thinning arms. It doesn't rely on herbicides. Instead, it selectively removes weeds while leaving other plants untouched. However, the robot can still apply chemicals if needed, but it does so much more effectively than humans. The key is that the robot applies substances precisely. According to the video, it seems like the robot can only do its job with the help of a tractor, but that's not the case at all. The robot can actually work all on its own, like a fully independent machine. It runs on solar panels on its roof. In this mode, the metal farmer can handle up to 27 acres in a day.
Solar Canopies. Infinity Rack has been designing and building solar canopies for over 10 years. Through their experience, they've realized the importance of durability in such structures, and they've nailed it. According to Infinity Rack, their canopies can withstand winds up to 195 miles an hour, which is close to tornado force. They also claim that these canopies handle heavy snow loads with ease. Plus, they're built tough enough to handle car collisions thanks to their heavy-duty post bases. Apart from being super durable, what's really cool about Infinity Rack awnings is how easy they are to install. Watching a video might not give you the full picture, but it looks way less complicated than other awnings out there. And of course, when it comes to self-sufficiency, it's worth noting that the canopy roof is actually a solar panel array. What's interesting is that specific canopy models from the company can produce up to 28.75 kilowatts of power. What's even more impressive is that the manufacturer says they can make canopies of any size upon request. Thank you.